Duke's Mayo Bowl, Maryland, and NC State. This is a pick em at this point. NC State, uh, d well, excuse me. It was NC State as an underdog. Now it's a pick em. Uh, total of 47.5 at BetUS. Of course, latest lines over there. It's Friday, December 30th at 11 a.m. Central Time. And, of course, I got to get the numbers on the screen for you so you can see what we're, what we're looking at. Who knows who the quarterback will be at this point for NC State? I got no idea. Here's what I do know. Uh, Jarrett, Raheem, or Raheem Jarrett, uh, he is apparently not playing in this game. Uh, so that's a bit of an issue for the Maryland offense. These two teams, uh, Maryland number 58 in PPA margin. That's predicted points added margin. Uh, NC State number 67. Now their offense has been very good. Uh, both of the defenses have played better than anticipated. Uh, at least for NC State, like it, the, their defense should be in, should have been better than it has been. But number thirty four defensive PPA per drive for NC State, number thirty six for Maryland on that. Uh, both of the offenses though not great. Number eighty seven PPA per drive on offense for Maryland and NC State number ninety four. So we're looking at two teams that are trying to uh, trying to stop the other one. How's that? Uh, NC State really good against the run. And Maryland's defense really good against the pass. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot of numbers that you can that you can really give me on this. <laughs> like, uh, neither neither is very good at offensive success rate. Uh, Maryland number 82 at defensive success rate. Uh, NC State is way better at that. Number eight at defensive success rate since week eight. Um, I look at this, and my numbers have NC State favored by 4.40. The quarterback issue certainly is concerning, but I believe that NC State's defense is going to be able to get after Maryland on this. They want this bowl game. Um, they didn't get to play the last couple of years, so I think they really want to win this one. I will take NC State here. I, I like Dave Doran. He's staying there. Um, yeah, they're without their offensive coordinator. Is that really that much of a problem? I mean, he got hired away by Coastal Carolina. I... uh. I would take NC State, so there's a lot of not, not a not a ton of numbers to back that up, but yeah, give me the Wolfpack. Wolfpack on a pickle. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.